Chapter 1571, Oh my four, Xi Wushang's gaze sharpened immediately when she noticed Yi Qingtong's beautiful face. You didn't accept me last time because of your wife. Now, is it because of this little lover beside you? Great. Since that's the case, I will kill her and see if there's still anyone who can stand between you and me. Xi Wushang had a murderous glare, and she directly aimed a blow at Yi Qingtong. Dot Yi Qingtong was dumbfounded. How did she become Jiang Yu's little lover? Yi Qingtong's face was ash white as she looked at the murderous air surrounding Xi Wushang and the powerful aura that filled the air. Madam Founder, you're mistaken. I am not the domain monarch founder's lover. I am just a clan member of the Jiang family. Yi Qingtong said hurriedly, seeing that she was about to be struck dead by the jealous Xi Wushang. The words Madam Founder extinguished the murderous air around Xi Washang immediately. She retracted her hand abruptly and smiled at Yi Qingtong whom she wanted to kill just a while ago. Dot Jiang Yu's face darkened further. Yi Qingtong broke out in cold sweat out of fear. Sorry, Domain Monarch Founder. She could not be blamed. It was really because Xi Washang was too powerful. He who understood the times was a wise man. Little girl. You are a good talker. Are you really his descendant? Xi Wushang spoke. Yes, I am indeed a descendant of the Jiang family. Yi Qingtong immediately disassociated herself from Jiang Yu. She would die really wrongfully if she was killed for being viewed as Jiang Yu's lover. Xi Wushang was still a little doubtful, and she looked at Jiang Yu. She knew that Jiang Yu would never lie about such matters. Otherwise, he would not have rejected her repeatedly over these years. That's right, Jiang Yu said. Xi Wushang chuckled immediately and looked at Yi Qingtong with a friendlier attitude. Perhaps the address of Madame Founder was really too much to her liking. There will only be one person as my wife in my life, Xi Wushang. There is no possibility between us, Jiang Yu said coldly. Xi Wushang's expression darkened in just a moment. Jiang Yu, I've pursued you for so many years. But you hugged your dead wife and kneeled in the land of infinite demons for so many years. Am I not better than a dead woman? Xi Wushang's expression was dark to the extreme. Xi Wushang was endowed with great talents and was a known figure in the second domain. She had a beautiful appearance, and plenty of people did all they could to gain her favor. She was a delicate treasure cherished by the masses but she compromised in every possible way when it came to Jiang Yu. She had pursued him for 10,000 years, yet he wasn't even willing to spare her an eye. Jiang Yu, my patience is limited. I'll give you one more chance. Are you willing to be with me? Xi Wushang narrowed her eyes as a trace of murderous intent emerged in her eyes. The spirit energy around her gradually intensified and an invisible pressure diffused in the air. The surrounding elders and disciples who followed over were truly dumbfounded. Why didn't they expect this Xi Washang and their domain monarch founder to have such a relationship? Watching the formidable Xi Washang release her pressure gradually, everyone in the Jiang family could not help but break out in a cold sweat. Jiang Yu's complexion did not seem well either, but he showed no signs of giving in. Jiang Yu. I'm asking you one last time, are you willing to be with me? If you reject me again, I won't let you be with anyone else in the future even if that means killing you, Xi Wushang said. Chapter 1572 Oh my fi, my answer is still the same even if you ask me a thousand more times. Jiang Yu replied emotionlessly. The Jiang family members broke out in a cold sweat when they saw Jiang Yu's resolute attitude and Xi Wushang's darkening expression. Domain Monarch Founder, there is nothing bad about Madam Founder either. Why don't you yield to her? An elder said while enduring the powerful pressure. Just Xi Wushang's skills themselves made her completely qualified to become the Madam Founder of the Jiang family. The Domain Monarch Founder's wife had passed a long time ago and it was time he lay it down. Moreover, this Xi Wushang was so infatuated with the domain monarch founder, and such devotion was truly hard to find. Jiang Yu glanced expressionlessly at the people who made these sarcastic remarks. If he wanted to yield to her, he would have done so a long time ago. Why would he wait until now? All right, you forced me to do this. Xi Wushang laughed from the extreme anger and her gorgeous face was filled with smiles. Jiang Yu, I, Xi Washang, have never treated anyone with such devotion, 
but you trampled over it in the mud. Since I can't gain your heart or your person, I will not let anyone else have what I want. Then, the aura around Xiwashang surged, and a murderous look appeared in her eyes. Seeing the enraged Xiwashang, Jiang Yu secretly squeezed the space ring on his finger and immediately took out a Dharma treasure, which he used to fly to the sky and escape. He originally did not intend to use the Dharma treasure at this time, otherwise, he would not have told Yi Kington to bring him out. However, he could only do so now. The people of the Jiang family did not expect Jiang Yu to want to avoid Xi Wushang to this extent and were stunned. Jiang Yu, you think you can run? With a scoff, Xi Wushang suddenly soared up and chased after him. Everyone remained stunned as they looked at Jiang Yu and Xi Wushang soaring to the sky one after another. Madam Founder only said that in the moment of anger, Domain Monarch Founder, why must you be this way? Domain Monarch Founder, don't leave. Madam Founder is devoted to you and will not really kill you. She may have said that in the moment of that person was not done with his sentence. But Xi Wushang formed a sword with her red spirit energy and slashed at Jiang Yu. Jiang Yu barely dodged the sword aura, but the mountain beneath him was struck into two instantly. Dot the person who was trying to persuade Jiang Yu just now was flabbergasted. She freaking wanted to kill him for real. Yi Kington was dumbfounded as well as she did not expect Xi Wushang to be for real. Based on her stance, Xi Wushang really wanted to kill Jiang Yu. In the sky, Jiang Yu and Xi Wushang flew across the sky rapidly one after another, and the sight left everyone in the Jiang family dumbstruck. This is a crime of passion. The little white tiger in Yi Kington's arms mumbled meaningfully as it looked at the two figures that gradually went out of sight. Dot Yi Kington was silent. What darn crime of passion. She had just learned four sets of techniques from the domain monarch founder, and he left just like that. Based on Xi Wushang's attitude, their fight would probably continue on endlessly. Yi Kington reckoned that she need not hope to meet Jiang Yu anytime soon. Yi Kington was upset and disappointed, and such emotions were felt even more strongly by the Jiang family elders. The domain monarch founder finally returned to the Jiang family yet had to leave so soon. However, they really did not expect the domain monarch founder to have such a love affair outside. Furthermore, Xi Wushang actually was serious about her words. Those two people flew so rapidly that even Elder Kian and the rest did not have the chance to persuade Jiang Yu any further. Chapter 1573, Cultivation 1 The youths of the Jiang family had not gotten over their excitement about the Domain Monarch Founder's return, yet the Domain Monarch Founder had left already. While they were very surprised about the Domain Monarch Founder's child form, they did not think much about it and simply thought that the Domain Monarch Founder's powers were boundless and that he learned a special technique to return to his youth. Elder Kian and the rest saw that there were no other options and could only instruct everyone to continue with their cultivation. Meanwhile, Yi Kington sighed softly and returned to her room, where she practiced the four sets of techniques Jiang Yu taught her. Those techniques may look simple but mastering them was not an easy thing to do. Just the finger technique itself took Yi Kington an entire afternoon. Nonetheless, her finger pointing was still weak and had no imposing air at all. Yi Kington was not anxious though as she was aware that this foundational technique could not be achieved in a day and had to be practiced diligently. For two whole days, Yi Kington had been figuring out the method to master this finger technique and repeatedly cultivated the same technique. Despite her efforts, there were no signs of impatience on her face. If she was exhausted, she would sit on the ground to cultivate before continuing with the technique once she recovered slightly. Becoming a powerful figure was never easy. What Yi Kington had more than others was nothing but their willpower she sharpened over 300 years. Knowing that it was beneficial to her, she could continue to practice no matter how difficult and mundane the process was. After two sleepless days, Yi Kington was finally much more familiar with the finger technique. Although not as imposing as Jiang Yu, her finger pointing could now cause a gentle breeze to blow around her finger, and her finger had much more power than before. The little white tiger was sprawled on the bed as it fell into a trance while watching Yi Kington repeating the same thing over and over again as though she never got tired. If not for Elder Kian summoning Yi Kington, she could probably still cultivate in the room alone for half a month and remain oblivious to fatigue and hunger. Elder Kian. 
Yi Kington greeted him respectfully when she arrived at Elder Kian's living quarters. Elder Kian glanced at Yi Kington with a rather complicated expression and sighed in his heart. Yi Kington was originally brought into the Elder Cabinet by the Domain Monarch founder, who also intended to personally teach her. However, Xi Wushang's arrival two days ago messed up this plan. The Domain Monarch founder was nowhere to be found in the past two days and it seemed that he would be unable to return any time soon. With his departure, Yi Kingtung, who had just entered Tai Yuan Valley, was now all alone. If she had outstanding talent coupled with her mutated heavenly demon bloodline, she would definitely be a talented junior valued by all. However, she seemed rather weak and worthless. Nevertheless, she ultimately had the Jiang family bloodline, and since she had already entered Tai Yuan Valley, there was no such thing as casting her aside. After a discussion among the cabinet elders, it was decided that Elder Kian, who returned together with Yi Kingtung, would take over the domain monarch founder's job in guiding Yi Kingtung through the foundation martial techniques of the Jiang family. Elder Kian did not think much about teaching Yi Kingtung, thinking that the domain monarch founder left Tai Yuan Valley not long after he returned. Elder Kian came to the conclusion that the founder must have not taught Yi Kingtung any martial techniques. Then, Elder Kian glanced at Yi Kingtung and spoke. You have entered Tai Yuan Valley and should learn the martial techniques of the Jiang family. However, you do not have a solid foundation and still need to rebuild it. The Jiang family has a total of four types of foundational techniques. I will teach you the finger technique first today. Remember it by heart and cultivate diligently when you return. I will teach you other things next time. Although he knew that Yi Kington's talent was mediocre, Elder Kian was still a rather responsible person. Chapter 1574 cultivation too. Yi Kington originally planned to tell Elder Kian that the domain monarch founder had already taught her four sets of techniques. However, she stopped herself when she considered the difficulties she faced when practicing the finger technique. The domain monarch founder was not in the valley right now, and she could not ask him about anything she did not understand. Now that Elder Kian was going to reteach her, she could watch carefully and ensure that there were no errors in her cultivation in the future curiosity, diligence, and humility, Yi Kington understood their importance and genuinely wanted to ask for guidance. Elder Kian saw Yi Kington's positive attitude and was satisfied. Even if she could not become a top powerful figure, she could not ruin the Jiang family's reputation at the very least, and her future was dependent on her luck. Elder Kian immediately performed the finger technique before Yi Kington's eyes immediately. While Elder Kian's finger technique was powerful, it was still quite lacking when compared to the Domain Monarch founders. However, he did his best as he was extremely patient and told Yi Kington about all the important points. Yi Kington looked very closely, comparing how she practiced in the past two days and Elder Kian's finger technique, she faintly felt the difference and was grateful on the inside. Elder Kian was rather pleased with Yi Kington's serious attitude toward learning. Although he was aware of Yi Kington's mediocre talent, he guided her attentively on the account that she was studious and serious. Elder Kian guided Yi Kington repeatedly for the entire afternoon and corrected some of her mistakes, which benefited her understanding greatly. Practice well when you're back. I will teach you other things after some time, Elder Kian said slowly. There were many youths in the valley and he himself had quite a number of disciples as well. Thus, he had no time to monitor Yi Kington's cultivation all the time. Given Yi Kington's talent, she probably needed at least one month to be familiar with and master this finger technique. It would be all right if she could practice diligently, but if she slacked off, nothing could help her anymore. Yi Kington nodded and thanked Elder Kian sincerely. Although she could feel that Elder Kian did not value her much, he was impartial and did what he could, which she was extremely grateful for. As Elder Kian watched Yi Kington leave the room, he could not help but shake his head and sigh. What a pity. Elder Kian was very satisfied with Yi Kington's eagerness to learn, but if her talent could be a little greater, sigh. Elder Kian did not think too much either, and these thoughts were diverted away when other youths came to seek guidance. After all, the Jiang family still had to prioritize the training of top talents. As for Yi Kington, her outcome was dependent on her luck. After gaining Elder Kian's guidance, 
Yi Kington had a sudden flash of insight and was already very familiar with the finger technique in just two days. Afterward, Yi Kington went through the palm technique, movement technique, and sword play technique individually to familiarize herself. Perhaps because of Elder Kian's attentive guidance where he pointed out the main points of the Jiang family's techniques, Yi Kington understood many key aspects of those three techniques without any extra guidance from Elder Kian and could learn them smoothly and easily. Yi Kington almost never left her room for a whole month. Apart from stepping out to have a meal every two or three days, the remaining time was all spent in the room cultivating. She either familiarized herself with the four techniques or cultivated through meditation, she truly wasted no time. Exactly because of such diligence, Yi Kington was skilled in all these four techniques in just a month. Furthermore, Yi Kington also obtained a huge advancement in her skills through this high intensity cultivation. Chapter 1575, Cultivation 3. She advanced straight from the peak of arcane supremacy 8th heaven to the peak of arcane supremacy 10th heaven and was only one step away from the heavenly venerate realm. Although Yi Kington's martial realm was low, she mastered four new sets of cultivation techniques and advanced two small realms consecutively in just a month. This speed was indeed shocking. It was just that no one noticed her because she rarely left her room and neither her martial realm nor endowment was high. Yi Kington was not anxious though. Thinking that she still had 10,000 honor points in her hand, she decided to rest for a day before heading to the Jiang family's sacred cultivation ground to increase her skills. After making this plan, Yi Kington surprisingly allowed herself to rest for a day. The moment she opened her door, she saw Jiang Shabai kneeling at her door while playing with a Burgonordia with a lowered head. Hearing the sound of the door, Jiang Shabai looked up immediately, and a wide smile bloomed on her face suddenly. Sister King, I've been waiting for a long time. If you hadn't come out soon, I'm afraid I would have died of starvation outside your door. Yi Kington did not know how to react when she saw the pitiful looking Jiang Shabai. Yi Kington did not know what was up with this little girl, but every time Yi Kington left her room to eat in this past month, Yi Kington would always see her and be dragged to have her meal. Gradually, the two of them reached a subtle rapport, and every two to three days, Jiang Shabai would wait for Yi Kington outside her door to have their meal together. If you die from starvation, wouldn't I be a huge sinner? Get up, let's go and eat together. Smiles filled Yi Kington's eyes. She was not against Jiang Shabai getting closer to her, although she felt that it was rather strange, she somehow felt that Jiang Shabai did not mean any harm. With a grin, Jiang Shabai hugged Yi Kington's arms and walked out along the corridors. Jiang Chi saw the back view of Jiang Shabai and Yi Kington leaving together and frowned instinctively, but he remained silent in the end. Yi Kington rarely left her room this month, and in addition, she had just come to Tai Yuan Valley. Thus, logically speaking, there should only be a few people who recognized her. However, as she was always with Jiang Shabai whenever she appeared, she attracted the attention of many people. Jiang Shabai had an extroverted personality. Yi Kington found out that many people always greeted Jiang Shabai whenever she was out with her, and it seemed that Jiang Shabai had good relations with the people in the valley. Shabai, why are you here so late today? We were all waiting for you. A 16 or 17 year old waved his hand once he spotted Jiang Shabai's figure. A group of youths who usually hung out with Jiang Shabai was already seated at the table. Who told you all to wait? It's not like I can't eat by myself. How long winded, said Jiang Shabai before pulling Yi Kington to sit with them. The youths at the table were all focused on Jiang Shabai as they chatted and laughed. Because of Jiang Shabai. Yi Kington frequently had her meals together with this group of teenagers. However, Yi Kington was like a transparent person that did not exist to them, and barely anyone talked to her. Yi Kington did not mind either as she was fully occupied with cultivation matters. However, she vaguely sensed that although these youths always joked around with Jiang Shabai, they seemed to be rather fearful of Jiang Shabai from their tone, even if they were chastised by Jiang Shabai. They mostly laughed it away and never fought back. Sister King, are you still going to stay in your room this afternoon? 
Jiang Shibai blinked and asked Yi Kington while biting her chopsticks, Chapter 1576, Cultivation 4. I wish to go to the sacred ground, Yi Kington said. The moment she spouted those words, the youths who ignored her focused their eyes on her for the first time and looked at her with odd expressions. You have honor points? One of the youths asked doubtfully. Yi Kington could tell his disbelief but did not take it to heart. The sacred ground? Which sacred ground do you wish to go to? The Tai Yuan Valley's sacred ground is split into five canyons, and each of them has a different cultivation effect. The better the effect, the more honor points required. Jiang Shabai explained. I haven't thought about it yet. I'll take a look then. Yi Kington only had 10,000 honor points and still did not know how many honor points were required for each of the five valleys, so she still needed to take a look before deciding. Biting the ends of the chopstick, Jiang Shabai took a look at Yi Kington and did not say anything else. Yi Kington left first after finishing her meal. Although she originally wanted to rest for a day, she abandoned that idea and headed to the sacred cultivation grounds at once. She did not have any more time. Once Yi Kington was out of everyone's sight, those youths finally spoke. Shabai, this Yi Kington's endowment is mediocre and is the bottom among all the youths in the bottom. Why are you always with her? A youth frowned rather unhappily. If not for Jiang Shabai, they would never interact with someone with mediocre talent like Yi Kington. Jiang Shabai did not rush to reply. Rather, she took a sip of water at her own pace, wiped her mouth slowly, and finally replied, I'll hang out with whoever I want. Since when was it up to you all to tell me what to do? Her tone was calm but devoid of the usual clarity and more loaded with gloom. Those youths sharply sensed Jiang Shabai's unhappiness and immediately changed their words. Shabai. We did not mean to tell you what to do. You also know that Jiang Yan Yan and those bunch of people are up to something recently. The martial arts championship is in five months, and I heard that the people on Jiang Yan Yan's side are working extremely hard for it. We don't wish for Jiang Yan Yan to obtain a spot in the martial arts championship. In terms of endowments and innate talent, no one else is better than you in the entire Tai Yuan Valley. That's right. If you were the same age as Jiang Yan Yan, that fellow would already have been crushed by you. He is so arrogant now only because of the fact that he has been in the valley since young. Why waste time on that Yi Kington? If you like her, the few of us can just give her some advice. You can just set your mind at rest and prepare for their martial arts championship. To these youths. They simply had no idea why Jiang Shoba treated Yi Kington so differently, and neither could they understand what she was thinking. They only treated it as though Jiang Shabai was interested in Yi Kington. There was truly no need for Jiang Shabai to waste time interacting with a teenage girl that just entered the valley with low skills and endowment. That's right. If you think highly of her, we can just train with her. Everyone else agreed. Given Yi Kington's realm. She would benefit greatly when any one of them provided a few tips. I know what I'm doing. Instead of nagging over here, why don't you all scram back to cultivate? I heard that you all fought with Jiang Yan Yan's people and that the outcome was not too good. Jiang Shabai cast them a look. Everyone laughed awkwardly. Chapter 1577 Cultivation 5 The Jiang family had countless extraordinary talents but those who could stand at the tip of the pyramid could be counted. Jiang Shabai and Jiang Yan Yan were one of those few people. Furthermore, Jiang Yan Yan was currently the most formidable junior in Tai Yuan Valley. Some elders even may not win against him in a spa. Ever since Jiang Shabai and Jiang Yan Yan met, they were on unfriendly terms, and the youths on both sides had been fighting both openly and covertly for a long time. The martial arts championship spot was one of the targets of their competition. Although the number of spots available for their martial arts championship was still unknown, tension had already begun filling the air. Dot. On the other side, 
Yi Qingtan headed to the Jiang family's sacred ground. It was the deepest corner of Tai Yuan Valley where a mountain range split the boundless valley into five canyons. A Jiang family warden guarding outside the canyon was recording something with his head lowered and only looked up when he felt someone getting close. His eyes subsequently landed on the alluring girl who carried a little white tiger in her arms. Hello, I wish to enter the sacred grounds to cultivate. May I know what rules there are? Yi Kington asked. The warden glanced at Yi Kington and found her to be extremely foreign. Then, he recalled the rumor of the Domain Monarch Founder's return. He seemed to have heard that the Domain Monarch Founder brought a Jiang family junior back to train with great care. However, that junior was found to lack endowment after the test, so the Domain Monarch Founder lost his patience and left without caring about her anymore. When the Domain Monarch Founder left Tai Yuan Valley, only a few elders and juniors were present, and everyone had a tacit agreement to keep mum about the reason behind his departure. Rather, those who were unaware falsely assumed that the Domain Monarch founder was dissatisfied over a lacking junior who he chose and thus left to not waste any time. The warden did not speak and merely raised his hand and tapped the golden tablets at the entrance, signaling Yi Kington to look at it herself. The Tai Yuan Valley Sacred Ground was split into five canyons, namely the Gong, Shang, Zhao, Zheng, and Yu Canyons. The cultivation effects became more obvious and prominent in that sequential order. A day of cultivation in the Gong Canyon was equivalent to ten days outside. A day of cultivation in the Shang Canyon was equivalent to twenty days outside. Following this pattern, a day of cultivation in the Yu Canyon was equivalent to fifty days outside. However, the closer to the end of the sequence, the larger the number of honor points required for that canyon. A day of cultivation in just the Gong Canyon required 2,000 honor points while the Yu Canyon required 10,000 honor points. Yi Kington had a total of 10,000 honor points, and if she used them in the Yu Canyon, she would have to leave after a day. Apart from increasing the cultivation speed, the spirit energy in the different canyons had different refinement effects on the body. The closer to the end of the sequence, the better the effects of the canyon. Yi Qingtun weighed her options and ultimately decided on the Gong Canyon. Her current realm was not high, and there was a limit to the amount of spirit energy she could absorb. If she went to the Yu Canyon, the one day duration would probably be wasted. I want to enter the Gong Canyon for five days. Yi Kington handed in the honor points to exchange for a chance to cultivate in the Gong Canyon for five days and was immediately led into the Gong Canyon by the warden. Right after Yi Kington entered, two youths who were approaching the sacred grounds noticed the back view of Yi Kington entering Gong Canyon. Isn't that the girl that has always been beside Jiang Shabai recently? A youth squinted his eyes and said, Jiang Shabai has such great innate talent. But God knows what she is thinking to actually waste time on that girl. I think she can forget about reaching Brother Yan Yan's realm in this lifetime. Another youth sneered. Chapter 1578 Breakthrough 1 Jiang Shabai has always been like that. But Jiang Yulang and the others still follow her lead. I think they're all fools. The two youths conversed for a while before leaving together. Yi Qingtun slowly walked into Gong Valley. A cool breeze blew from the valley, brushing past her cheeks. The entire valley was filled with rich spirit energy. There were many air vents in the ground, and from time to time, steam would shoot out of them, filling the entire valley with hot steam. Yi Qingtun walked within the valley for a while and noticed that the spirit energy was mostly evenly distributed throughout the valley. However, there was a little more spirit energy in the areas where there were more air vents. There's probably something peculiar beneath the ground of this valley. Yi Kington's gaze fell on the air vents that were continually shooting out steam. She felt curious but did not waste time analyzing it. She could only stay in the valley for five days. She must make the best of this short time. Now, her cultivation realm was just a step away from the heavenly venerate realm. Otherwise, she would not have used up all her honor points here. Arcane supremacy and heavenly venerate were just a realm apart, but between them was a gulf that was almost impossible to cross. Once crossed, one would realize that the realms were completely different. Yi Kington calmed herself down and sat cross-legged at a spot with the most air vents. Although steam surrounded her and it was as hot and suffocating as an oven, 
she slowly closed her eyes and allowed herself to sink completely into the spirit energy. She slowly guided her spirit energy around her body and through her meridian points. She cultivated for five days and five nights. During these five days and nights, Yi Kington did not drink a drop of water or move an inch. She continually guided her spirit energy around her body and sensed that the invisible door to the next realm, which had been blocking her, was being slowly pushed aside. The surrounding steam reddened Yi Kington's pale face. The little white tiger, who had been cuddled in her arms, could not stand the damp heat of the steam. It shook its fur and crawled down to look for a cooler place. But at that moment, the little white tiger saw that Yi Kington's expression lacked its usual willfulness, so it kept quiet and did not make any noise. On the fifth night, in the quiet of the night, a golden ray of light suddenly burst forth from Yi Kington. The golden ray rushed towards the heavens, lighting up the entire dark valley. But the sacred ground was deep within Tai Yuan Valley, and it was late at night so no one noticed these signs of a breakthrough. When the golden light shot back into Yi Kington's body, Yi Kington suddenly opened her eyes. The golden glow that floated around her meant she had successfully broken through the first door of the heavenly venerate realm within these five days. She had finally entered the heavenly venerate realm. She puffed out a hot breath and a smile surfaced on her face. She lifted her hand and casually wiped away the sweat on her cheeks. Then, she looked at the time. She still had half a day before she had to leave the valley. Although she had received a breakthrough, Yi Kington did not dare to waste time. These 10,001 points had been hard to come by. She intended to fully grasp every minute and every second and continue cultivating. Yi Kington only walked out of Gong Valley the next afternoon. Her entire aura had changed subtly. It's a pity that I've used up all my honor points. Yi Kington returned to her room to wash herself up. She sensed the new strength within her body. She might have entered the heavenly venerate realm, but she still had quite some way to go before she could enter the martial arts championship. There were still five months left. Within these five months, she had to do her best to narrow the gap between her and others. Chapter 1579 Two Star Constellation 1 the youths that hung around Jiang Shabai were around the second or third heaven of the heavenly venerate realm, not to speak of the others. It would be wonderful if I was at the temple of shadows. Then I might have been able to enter the illusory void to train. Yi Kington could not help thinking of the illusory void in the temple of shadows. Although the god of nature was not very reliable, the illusory void was a wonderful thing. Too bad that it was not realistic for her to return to the Temple of Shadows. Just as Yi Kington was thinking about it again, she suddenly felt a strange warmth coming from her wrist. Yi Kington looked down, puzzled. The nine souls ring on her wrist that had belonged to the Holy Lord of Shadows was now glowing with a blinding light. For a moment, Yi Kington could not figure out why it was glowing and she was enveloped by the glow. Yi Kington was blinded by the bright light, but the illusory void's voice rang in her ears. Fortunate explorer, welcome back to the illusory void. Isn't that the god of nature's voice? Yi Kington was startled. The blinding light faded. What appeared before her eyes was not her room in Tai Yuan Valley, but the nebula-filled illusory void that she had bid farewell to some time ago. The god of nature's radiant body floated before her eyes. A look of surprise flashed across Yi Kington's eyes, and she glanced at the nine souls ring on her wrist. The nine souls ring originally belonged to the Holy Lord of Shadows, and the illusory void had been sealed in the temple by the Holy Lord of Shadows herself. Perhaps the Holy Lord of Shadows had left her imprint on her private possessions, turning it into a key to the illusory void. That way. The Holy Lord of Shadows could enter the illusory void whenever she liked, even if she was not in the Temple of Shadows. Fortunate Explorer, which constellation would you like to enter this time? The languid radiant body floated and shifted around before Yi Kington's eyes. Its tone was solemn and calm, but Yi Kington could discern a thread of anticipation in its voice. As the radiant body's voice rang out, the surrounding constellations drifted forth as if they would swallow her at any moment. Yi Kington glanced at the various constellations. She had chosen the one star constellation previously because it was lowest ranked and would allow her to advance the most. Yi Kington knew that the higher the constellation level, 
the greater the effect it would have on her cultivation. But having experienced the one star constellation, Yi Kington realized that although it could increase her cultivation state within a short time, she would need a period of refinement before she could fully grasp it. Also, since she could enter the illusory void any time, she could take her time. So Yi Kington lifted her hand and pointed at the two star constellation. Dot said the radiant body. Yi Kington could vaguely hear the radiant body muttering. But when she glanced at it, the radiant body appeared normal. You really won't consider the others? The four star constellation is pretty good. The radiant body seemed to want to promote the other constellations. Yi Kington had personally experienced the high level constellations that the radiant body had termed the best and most suitable. She had almost died there, so she chose to pass over any of the radiant body's recommendations. No need. I'll go there first, said Yi Kington. The radiant body seemed rather wistful. It slowly summoned the two star constellation. Then, Yi Kington picked up the little white tiger who had been sprawled on her, and flew straight into the two-star constellation, chapter 1582 star constellation 2. After her experience in the one-star constellation, Yi Kington was familiar with entering the world of the constellations. After experiencing heaven and earth spinning around her once again, Yi Kington smelled the strong scent of fish. The smell mingled with other odors to form a nauseating stench. Yi Kington slowly opened her eyes. Before her was a gloomy and narrow alley. It was getting dark, and the scene before her was shrouded in grey. Yi Kington subconsciously waited for a message from this world to surface in her mind. But she waited for a long time without any message appearing. Um, why are you waiting here? The god of nature, who had transformed into a child, floated out from behind Yi Kington. This time, you did not enter anyone's body. You can enter this world in your own body. The god of nature seemed to guess why Yi Kington was waiting and slowly explained it to her. Only then did Yi Kington study her clothing and discover she was wearing her original clothes. The space ring on her finger was also familiar. You need not have any particular identity to enter the world of constellations. You may enter in the body of someone from that world and take over their identity, or you may enter as yourself. The god of nature slowly explained. If she entered the world in someone's body, she would directly gain the original owner's knowledge of the world. If she came as herself, she would have no understanding of the world and would have to slowly explore it. Yi Kington did not feel that there was much difference between the two situations. In fact, she thought it was more convenient to enter as herself. Just as Yi Kington was preparing to question the god of nature about her current mission, she suddenly heard the clatter of a carriage. Lights flickered in the entrance of the dim alley. Although night was falling, there were still many people milling around. Yi Kington glanced at the people passing through the alley, and a look of surprise surfaced in her eyes. Go take a look at this world first. The god of nature was in no hurry to issue Yi Kington with her mission. Right now, Yi Kington needed to familiarize herself with the world she was in. Yi Kington slowly walked out of the dark alley. What she saw caused her to widen her eyes. The pedestrians hurrying along the street were all tall with deep set features. They looked completely different from the people that Yi Kington had met previously. Most of them had golden hair and blue eyes or brown hair and green eyes. They had prominent noses and high cheekbones, and all of them were very tall. An alien race? Yi Kington could not help but feel curious when she saw this group of people with strange hair and eye colors. But when she examined them closely, she noticed that they did not have the aura of an alien race. The aura that surrounded them was exactly the same as that of the human race. Human race? Yi Kington frowned slightly. A troop of heavily armored knights was riding their tall horses across the street. Their armor looked peculiar as if they were made entirely out of metal and protected their body completely. Their helmets also completely veiled their features so that nothing was exposed. A carriage was being escorted by the heavily armored knights. As they crossed the street, a carriage suddenly appeared. On it hung a drawing of a heavily armored man with a pair of wings. He looked somewhat like the winged people, but the structure of his wings was different. 